Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined versus the OG. Let's get into this comparison. This is wild. You guys have a chance to get yourself a pair of the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines in your size. All you guys need to do is smash that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right now. Join the more family. Comment down below. Let me know what size you are in the Jordan 4 Bread Reimagine. They will fit true to size. Take a picture. Take a screenshot. DM me on Instagram. Danny Moore 2369 Send me proof that you guys subscribed to my YouTube channel. Good luck on the Bread 4 Reimagine giveaway. This giveaway ends at the end of this month. The giveaway winner will be announced here on YouTube the beginning of February. So make sure you guys come back to the channel to find out who wins and don't worry more giveaways on the bread for reimagines coming so make sure you guys subscribe and keep watching my videos of course the big major difference is the material here on the reimagined we have a nice soft tumbled leather the tumbleness on the leather is imprinted on it's not actually tumbled but it's imprinted on to make it look like it's you know tumbled on the leather all leathered out now here on the og this is the 2019 version what we're known to having all these years is this new buck material people are calling it durabuck durabuck is just basically a more durable new buck material so this new buck material you guys can notice it is ashy when you wear them it will give you an ashy effect you're not going to have to worry about that with the leather the leather though i will think will crease a little bit more than the new buck you guys can notice there are differences and there's a major difference between these two sneakers i'm going to get into later on the shape but i do want to start off here with the tongues let's take a look at the tongue you guys can notice the reimagine you do have that beautiful red jump man but notice no red really peeking through at the top unlike here on the 2019 you do have the red peeking through you will also notice the red is a little bit brighter, I would say, on the 2019 compared to the reimagined. Now, take a look at the sock liners. You guys can notice a big difference there. They're both thick and gonna be comfortable with padding, but the reimagined definitely is thicker. Thicker, more padding compared to this 2019 retro. Big time there. Black laces, the grays. You guys can notice the gray is a little bit brighter actually on the reimagined than it is on the 2019. So the red seems to be a little bit brighter on the 2019, but the gray a little bit brighter on the reimagined. Very interesting how they change that up. You guys know that every time we get a retro, a new retro of a shoe, there will be subtle differences between the last retro. You guys can notice the toe box, which we're going to get into more as well. Now, let's take a look at the back. Let's get to the back, the Nike Air. You guys can notice, once again, the gray, slightly different on the reimagined, a little bit brighter compared to the Nike Air gray on the 2019. The red as well. You guys can notice that on the outsoles. Take a look at the outsole. Here's the reimagined. This is the 2019. Very similar, but a little bit brighter of red, I would say, in the 2019. But the gray seems to be a little bit brighter on the reimagined. And the white seems to be white just matching up there. Just a little bit brighter, actually, on the reimagined compared to the 2019 bread. This 2019 bread, both pairs are brand new dead stock. Boom, that's a little different there. Another big difference, we're going to get into it in a moment, I promise the shape, but let's get into the air unit. Take a look at the reimagine. You do have the gray air unit. And then here on the 2019 as well, it looks like the air unit, the bubble itself, seems to be a little bit bigger on the reimagined compared to the 2019. So here's the 2019 air unit once again. And here is the reimagined. Seems very, very close, but a little bit bigger on the reimagined. Now, that's pretty much the shoe, except for one major difference. Let's take a look real quick at the back. I do want to show you guys, once again, the back. The tab here is plastic on both. So that seems to be the same. Let's get into the big difference. The big difference will be, of course, the shape. The Nike Air is the same on the both. Now, let's get into the shape. Let's get straight to it. Boom! The reimagined. 
And here is the 2019 bread. I'm gonna grab the same shoe for this part of this comparison, and let's do it. Right shoe reimagined, right shoe 2019 bread. Here we go, here is the huge difference from this point forward when it comes to the shape of the Air Jordan 4. If you guys want me to compare these to the SB Pine Green Air Jordan 4s in an upcoming video, make sure you guys smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below, tell me to do the comparison, I'll make it happen. Let's get into this comparison right now, the shape, what everybody wants to know. The big question, the shape of the shoe. So here we go with the reimagine. I'm gonna use this shoe to show you guys what I'm talking about because the shape is different. Let's get into it. Here's the new shape. So, you guys can notice this eyelet. Let's use these waffles. I call them waffles, the gray part right here, right? You got this gray right here, you got the gray right here. Okay, here on the 2024 reimagined, the slope. So, it goes down, it goes down. Follow what I'm saying, it goes down and then points out, okay? Here on the 2019, and what we've had for a long time at this point, is the grays are here, the waffle here, and if you guys notice, it just goes flat, flat. It almost, almost is the same height. It's a little bit off, obviously, right? The toe box is lower, but not by much, right? It's more flat compared to the new shape of the Jordan 4 reimagined bread here, and what we'll be getting from this point forward, you guys can set once again, the waffle, and how it just goes down more. You see that shape? This is how it was back in 1989. You see, once again, there's the shape. There's the shape. Notice that shape difference. So this is 2019. You guys can see how it's flat, and then we go to the new pair, the new shape from this point forward, and it's like the OG. It goes down, has that slant a lot more than what we've been getting for all these years. That is wild. That is a big difference. The biggest difference between these two pairs, besides, of course, the material switch up, is the shape. That is wild. We got some padding differences, a little bit of gray, red color differences, which are to be expected with each new retro. But the shape... That is wild. They have not changed the shape of the Air Jordan 4 in a long time. In a long time. It's been a long time that we've had this shape. 2019 here. See how it's flat? And now with the new shape, it goes down, which is awesome if you ask me. I think this is an improvement over what we've been getting all these years. And here's why. Comfortability. I believe that these are going to be more comfortable. I'm going to find out. I will say this. The SB4s are more comfortable than a normal Jordan 4, if you ask me. So I'm expecting these to have around the same comfort as the Air Jordan 4 SB Pine Green. Let me know if you guys want me to do that comparison video with these against the SB Pine Green Jordan 4s. We'll take a look at the shape and everything. Let me know if you guys want that video. But right here, this is what we have been getting for so many years, this shape, and we're getting a drastic change in the shape of the Air Jordan 4. This is wild, and I'm happy with the shape. Now let's take a look at the back shape. So we took a look, we took a look at the front. Let's take a look at the back. Here with the 2019, and here's the reimagined. You guys can notice, you'll notice it more on this angle. There is a shape difference as well. Here on this angle, reimagined. 2019 you notice the shape difference between the two it's a dead giveaway very obvious to me that these are just two different shapes and this is what how it was back in 1989 jordan brand bringing it back that is wild and i'm here for it because we are getting the military blue fours those will have this shape as well bringing it even closer as close as possible to OG as possible because yes while this is technically closer to OG because of the material when it comes to the shape the reimagines is closer to the actual shape of the 1989 OG pair but of course the new buck material is where it's actually OG so if you take these two shoes 
You basically take this shoe and put the new buck on it, it would be as close to OG as possible if you ask me in this day and age. This is extremely close, but there are some subtle differences between the Air Jordan 4 Bread OG as well as the, of course, new reimagined Air Jordan 4 Bread. Let me know what you guys think about this comparison down below in the comments. Are you shocked about the new shape? Are you happy with the new shape, the new silhouette of the Air Jordan 4 going forward? This has been the comparison of the OG versus the reimagined Bread Air Jordan 4. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.